You've seen the title. We're playing Back at the Barnyard for DS. Okay, Back at the Barnyard. It was a show on Nickelodeon. This is a licensed DS game, meaning that it is probably not good. Um, <laughs> this is my first time touching this. I don't know what the gameplay is like. I'm kind of going through my backlog of shovelware games that I've uh, accrued since the last time I, I played a shovelware game on stream. So, yeah, uh, let, let's just jump right into it. I'm not going to waste any of your time. Ah, the 3DS home screen. It's already nostalgic, isn't that insane? It's already weirdly nostalgic. So I don't know if I'm going to be fully completing this game or not. It might just be like a, a one off, but hey, I got to work through my backlog. I got a lot of shovelware games to play. Oh my God, my ears. That legitimately hurt my ears. Hold up. This sounds like Game Boy Advance music. Back at the barnyard, the slop bucket games. I really hope this is this has voice acting. Options. So many options. Go story mode. Uh new wait, continue. Oh, there's probably somebody. This is a used copy. Oh, this is this is incredible. Okay, this is a used copy of the game. So I'm gonna delete the profile. Yes, delete the profile. Okay, story mode. Oh, select your cow. <laughs> this is gonna be our avatar for the entire game. So, so many options. Is this Elden Ring? Guys, I think that this is going to take me about an hour. It's just so customizable. Like you could be you could be like brown cow or white cow, female or, or even gray cow male. What? No, no matter no, no matter what you look like, you will have udders. It's not your choice. This is this is so difficult. What guys, which cow, which cow best represents me? Do you think? Which cow do you think best represents me? Hold up. <laughs> White cow? Oh gee, I, I wonder I wonder why. White male. <laughs> White male cow. Oh no, he's like he's got blonde hair too. Oh god, this is me. This is upsetting. This is my cow sona. Please draw epic art of my cow sona. Please draw epic art of my cow sona making out with uh Odie. Welcome Holy dog, oh, it's Odie! I mean, Otis. Yeah, draw me making out with that guy. Hey there, welcome to the barnyard. You should introduce yourself to everyone. Move by pressing the stylus or the touch... Move by pressing the stylus on the touch screen or by pressing the control pad in the direction you want to move. How does this already have better controls than like Spirit Tracks and, uh, and the other one? What was the other one? Phantom Hourglass? This already has better controls than Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Because they let you actually pick. You can't do anything, you can just walk around. So guys, this is my cow Sona. Uh, I'm a white cow with brown spots. Uh, I'm blonde. And I'm in love with Otis. I'm actually new to the farm, and I have laser eyes and can kick really hard. 
Hey kid, come and talk to me tomorrow. <laughs> wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be great if this game had like real time gameplay? Like the sun rises and sets and I have to like wait 24 hours to talk to Otis. Go to the markers on the map and talk to the animals. I appreciate how this game is. This game runs in 60 FPS, but the character animations are like <laughs> in 10 FPS. <laughs> Look how chunky it is. <laughs> Come back and see me tomorrow. Nobody wants to talk to me unless it's the next day. Okay, let's let's take a look around. Oh, oh, Pip, I didn't even see you there. I, I was just walking over to the barrel. If you need a hint, try looking around. You can find tips on hint signs. Okay, thanks, Pip. Hey guys, I'm gonna say my epic catchphrase. Is the audio good? Is the audio good? Is is the audio like pretty good? Yeah. Oh, a chicken. Sometimes you'll need to find items to help people set up new events. Just walk over to them and pick them up. Okay. Oh, a sign. Yeah. Why does the sign have a voice? <laughs> why? Why does the why does the hint sign have a voice? Whack a rack. Make sure you whack the coyotes who are ho holding paint buckets, or they'll throw paint at you. Oh yeah! Scrub it off quickly so you can start whacking again. Okay. Oh yeah! Let me. Does this sign also say "Oh yeah"? Oh yeah. Yeah, it does. All of the, all of the hint signs, all of the hint signs go. Oh yeah! This is a hint post. Hint posts give you tips about the events. They're all hidden around the barnyard. Does do it whenever I want. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> he does it every time I talk to it. <laughs> every time you read a sign in this game, there's just a guy off screen going like, Oh yeah! Well, I, I wonder, I wonder what's going to happen when I read this sign. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shuffle muck. Try bouncing the puck off the side of the walls and get it behind your opponent. Okay. Okay, do I, how do I end the day? Oh, I can go out here? Wow, this is like, this is like getting into Hyrule Field in Ocarina of Time. Look, look how expansive this map is. Do you know how many people had to work on this game for the map to be this big? Like, at least three. Hey, let's go to the barn. Otis has an announcement to make. But he said he'd talk to me tomorrow. I thought he was tired. Was he lying to me? Did he not want to talk to me? Otis. Otis, I thought we had something. Gather around, everyone. Welcome to the first day of the Barnard Slop Bucket Games. As you can see, we have a newcomer in our midst. Hi. That's my voice. Hi. That's my signature catchphrase. Hi. Hey, great. A new competitor. That's right. Everyone make them feel welcome. Oh, thank you. I didn't know that Otis respected my pronouns. Otis? Stop. Respecting my pronouns and shit? Oh my god. Oh my god. Otis! <laughs> I want to stick my tongue down your throat. Do you think there'll be any competition? <laughs> Do you think... <laughs> Do you think there'll be any competition for your title as Slop Bucket Champ, Otis? Well, you never know. We've got three whole days of events lined up, so we'd better get started. Hey, yo, they them pronouns and back at the barnyard confirmed? We'll need help setting things up, Otis. Well, feel free to ask our newcomer to help you out. There will be new games each day, so let's get to work. Oh, this is exciting. I can't wait to start commenting. Uh, commentating rough. I officially announced the Barnyard Slot Bucket Games Open! Let the games begin! Let the games begin! I, I, he said that already. Oh, I got a cool shirt. Covers my nips. 
Hey there, kid. I'm in charge of stick stick bike stunts. It's a new game I invented. Think you can help me pick up some old bike parts from the junkyard? You brave enough? Uh, <laughs> anything for you, Onus. <sighs> I just want to smell you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that what I sound like? Is that voice coming from me? Is that like my character's canon voice? I thought that was just the signs. I just thought the signs just did that. Look for the red dots on your map. I'm going insane from these oh yeahs. No, it's... <laughs> oh yeah! Alright, here I come. I gotta say, <laughs> I love my character's walk so much. <laughs> Look at this. He, this dude's on a mission. It's like, I, I, I gotta go to work. Gotta go to work today. Gotta diversify my portfolio. Look out. All right, I'm here. Oh, sweet. Uh, black circle with yellow outline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you found a bike part. Two more to go. I have a feeling like this game might be overusing the oh, yeah sound effect. Just slightly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just slightly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be the whole fucking game, isn't it? This is gonna be the whole game. <laughs> That's all the parts you need. Take them to Otis so he can build a stick bike. Oh, yeah. make oh yeah stream notification if I can figure out how to rip sound effects from this game I, I just might this is an oh yeah moment all right I love how I can only walk in like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight directions. I can only walk in eight directions. Up, down, left, right, and then diagonally. But they, they made the map a circle. So like your thumb has to like rotate on the fucking the fucking D-pad. Okay, Otis. Oh yeah, great job. Those bike parts look perfect. Now I can build a stick bike. Stick bike stunts have been unlocked in the quick event menu. Okay, aim this. The aim of stick bike stunts. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that. Shit myself. Okay, the aim of stick bike stunts is simple. Race to the end as quick as you can and pull off sweet tricks on the way. Ready to race? Do it, kid. Well, I didn't say oh yeah. How am I, su how am I supposed to get hyped if, if there's no oh yeah? This game's really throwing me for a loop, man. I, I wasn't expecting that. Wait, how do I play? I didn't even look. Is this Happy Wheels? This is legit Happy Wheels. <laughs> I'm just playing <laughs> Happy Wheels. Dude, dude, oh my god. I can't believe it. I'm in PewDiePie Happy Wheels Part 7. What was that? <laughs> guys, guys, PewDiePie Happy Wheels real life? Did I win? You got bronze. Thank you. Thank you, Chris Hardwick. You got bronze. Well, how was how am I how am I whatever? Continue. God, look how crusty that JPEG is. Great work, kid. You just rode your way into the semifinals. See you tomorrow for more racing. Was Chris Hardwick convicted of, like, like, sexual assault? Am I remembering that correctly? Was that a thing? Somebody looked that up. Yes? <laughs> he was? That's, that, that's not funny. It's just kind of hilarious that he voices a cow in this video game.
press L and R at the same time for gore mode? <laughs> that is the most horrifying message I've seen in chat all night. <laughs> press L and R at the same time to activate gore mode. Talk to Otis, he's like, rip and tear. I'm I'm feeling scared. I need an oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that again. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to do that a third oh, time. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to get out. Oh, yeah. Stop. <laughs> hey, come back and see me tomorrow. Okay. What do you guys think of my back of the barnyard impressions so far? I think they're pretty good. Can I can I go in here? No, I cannot. You cannot go into buildings. You're a cow. Cows aren't allowed. Uh, cows aren't allowed in buildings. Oh yeah. Race again. You need to beat Freddy. No, I want to progress the plot. I want to progress the intricate plot to back at the barnyard for DS. There's an exclamation point. Who do I talk to over here? Oh, probably Pip, right? Yeah, there's Pip. Uh, hello. I've got a new t new event lined up. I'm going to need your help setting things up. I need a mallet for the whack a rack event. I'm, I'm turning into Hop Pop from Amphibia. C could you get it for me? Uh, yeah, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, everybody. Oh, yeah. Legit, it, I'm just Hop Pop now. Look for the red dot on your map. I like how it has, this game has waypoints. <laughs> what do you mean? It's literally right here. You found the whacking mallet. Take the mallet to Pip so you can start the game. It was right next to Pip. Why couldn't he get it? I mean, I guess he's like a, a mouse, so he's very small. Hey, thanks. Now we're ready to play. Ready to give it a go? Whack a rack has been unlocked in the quick event menu. Just grab the whacking stick and whack the raccoons and coyotes. But don't hit Freddy or the chicks. Ready to play? Go crazy! All right. Use the stylus to whack the raccoons and coyotes. Don't hit Freddy or the chicks. Okay, let's do this. These are raccoons, not coyotes. Wasn't I told that there would be coyotes in this game? Oh yeah, there's a coyote. There's the coyotes. Oh. Oops. Did I do good? Did I do good, Pip? I I got gold. Freddy. Otis, are you proud of me? Otis. Fantastico, my friend. You are into the next round. See you tomorrow. Thanks, Pip. Can I talk to you, Otis? You've already passed this game today. I know. I just wanted to get to know you, you know. I see you around the barnyard. And see the way you look at me. We gonna address that, or...? All right. See you tomorrow, Otis. Oh, I can't I can't walk on the grass either. Oh no, I can. I can. Just not certain grass. Got to be careful. Certain grass is evil. Hey there, buddy. Think you could help me get my event set up? Oh, kid, it's gonna be amazing. I need some wood from the junkyard to build this catapult. Then we'll be ready to rumble. Got time to lend me a hand, pal? Uh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Out of all of the sound effects that they could overuse, why was it that one? 
Why couldn't they just make it generic like boop wing? Like when you accept a quest, like what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and when you pick up every item. There's no way that was on purpose. Why would they why would they do that on yeah. purpose? They they must they must have made some other sound effect and just like mis mismatched the files or something. Oh, yeah. And then nobody everybody was like, ah, it's too late. We can't go back. Oh yeah! My my question is, who is saying oh yeah? Like what who is the voice actor for oh oh yeah? Now everybody in chat is taking <laughs> taking responsibility for the oh yeah! Only one person has a speed run on this game and they got a 39 minute record. I guess it's a quick game. This game is simple. Catapult yourself into the air and fly as far as possible. Fly through the rings, bounce off the springboards for more points. You'll get uh, bonus points for landing in a hay, hay truck. Ready to play? Oh yeah! Oh, some of the oh yeahs don't, don't do it. They don't do it. Launch with the stylus, then steer by moving the stylus around the cow. Grab balloons and blah blah blah, I can do it. Is this just Angry Birds? This feels a lot like Angry Birds. Well, Angry Birds, but you can control your trajectory. Uh, I'm loving it. Oh, I'm loving it. Close match. Oh, I want to retry that. That was cool. That that was cool. That was awesome. Look at that form. Close That's gotta be better. What? Why am I still low? I'm so good at that. Thank God it's Mario 64 rules. Uh oh. I failed again. No, I want to do it again. I want to get a number one. And... Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, 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 hey! No! No hey. I'll take it. What the fuck? Why am I still not winning? I want to win. Now it's personal. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm definitely second place. Yeah, second place. I can get 2,000. Somebody chat said skill issue? I just started playing. Is it really skill issue when I just don't even know how the game works yet? Oh, the balloons give you more yellow. Ah, shit. Okay, I'm starting to understand how the game works. I wasn't paying attention. Why are you playing Angry Birds with a cow? Because it's my life. What a game! I need to get number one. This is strangely addicting, actually. Like, no cap. Ah, oh, yeah. uh, fuck. No, retry, retry, retry. Okay, try again. Oh, balloon. This is amazing. Just look at this game. Balloon. 
Oh, I'm losing altitude. Fuck, this game is so hard. You got bronze. Okay, whatever, I'll take bronze. <laughs> I gotta move on. Nice flying, kid. You earn your place in the semifinals tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Uh, hi there, newcomer. M my name's Peck. I I'm in charge of the chicken lunch. What's the chicken lunch, you ask? W well, it's not set up yet. Th uh, that's what it is. I need a big rubber band from behind the house. Could you please fetch it for me? Yeah! Oh, I just got a yeah that time. There was no O. Oh. There was no O oh yeah, it was just yeah. This game's really starting to throw me some curveballs, let me tell you. Look for the red dot on your map. Cock? That's right, chat, it's cock. You guys love that, right? Gen genuinely, I actually used to love the, uh, the, the Blarn Yard. Yeah, my favorite show, Blarn Yard. <laughs> on, on Nickelodeon. You guys ever see Blarn Yard? Oh, yeah. Dude, fucking Blotus was my favorite character on Blarnyard. Yeah, but genuinely, I, I I did really like Back at the Barnyard when I was younger. It was one of my favorite shows, especially after season one, because like after the first batch of episodes, the show just gets insane. They kind of just ditch the fact that they're constrained to the barnyard because they're farm animals and they just kind of do whatever they want. And that's why I love it so much. Weird Al Yankovic shows up at one point. But yeah, that show is so funny. Did somebody make a Back at the Barnyard uh, out of context account on Twitter? I should do that. I should do that. Ah, that rubber band looks perfect. Chicken launch has been unlocked. All you have to do is launch the chicken. That's me at the targets. The more targets you hit, the more points you score. But don't hit Otis, he'll try to block you. Aim around him to hit the targets. Ready to give it a go? Yeah. Whoa, look at this pre-rendered 3D graphics. I'm doing pretty good, actually. <laughs> when you hit the fence, he just dies. Also, why is he so big? Why is he so big when he hits the fence? Look at this. Oh, wait, no. Look at this. He's so big when he hits the fence. Look at that form. No. There we go. I, I had to have gotten gold, right? You smashed the record. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wow, this is you're a natural sharpshooter, and I should know. I'm the ammo. You made it to the next round. See you back here tomorrow. Okay, one more, one more thing. Oh, that's a steep hill. I suddenly have the urge to shit my brains out. That's not even a meme. I, I, I do indeed feel the urge to shit my brains out currently. I don't know what I ate. Hey there, kid. We meet at last. I'm in charge of the, me the melon race. Fortunately, I've got no melons. <laughs> you can say that again, pal. Know that feeling. Reckon you could go into the veggie patch and pick out six for me? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! There's a new sound effect, guys. <laughs> no melons? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Let me guess. Uh, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what about an oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. 
All right, excellent. Man, it has been a while since I've just played a straight up shovelware game. This isn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's really just a mini game collection. This game is based AF. Nothing gets better than this. Oh, yeah. That's right, chat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, the donkey is there, but I thought this game was based off of the TV show, not the movie. Um, chat, I'm sorry to break it to you, but the licensed video game might not reflect canon. It might not. I know. I'd shoot me. Shoot me. You know, it, it might not. It's clear that this was probably developed during the movie, but came out during the TV show. Hey, thanks. Those melons look mighty delicious, but no, they're for gaming. <laughs> They're for gaming, not for eating. <laughs> Silly. They're for gaming. Guys, guys, the donkey said gaming. Subscribe. Now this event's real simple. Drive the farmer's truck through the checkpoints. Try not to lose any melons. Ready to give the melon race a go? Yes. Drive through as many checkpoints as you can. The more melons you carry, the more points you get. Okay. Mario Kart. The melons have physics? This is the DS. How does this work? What? This is amazing. Just look at this game. That's true. I am actually shocked that the melons have fucking physics. What? I didn't know that you can have physics like this on the DS. What? Oh, shit. That's on me. I lost some mel melons. Can I restart? I want to restart. I lost some melons. Genuinely, chat, I I'm not going to lie to you. It's pretty impressive that the melons have physics. Why is this weirdly impressive to me? Oh, yeah, Salty, hold those melons. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, me too. Oh, rock. Oh, thank God I didn't drop my melons. Can they do it? Uh, thank you. All right. Uh oh, uh oh. I know you said that earlier. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. No. Oh, 400 is pretty good. I could probably do it better, but yeah, whatever. If you lose even one melon, I'm gonna shit myself. Don't, don't worry, I didn't lose any. Nice driving, youngin. That puts you in the next round tomorrow. See you back here then. Wow, there were some really fantastic scores today. Why didn't he just record the line that, that was like a whole ass line that wasn't even a sound bite why didn't he just record what the text said like what <laughs> there's going to be a lot of new games to play see you all then there better be new games to play i'm gonna be pissed i cannot get over how crusty this, this jpeg is like look at this so crusty. Oh, that's even crustier. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to the second day of the Barnyard Slot Bucket Games. We've got new games to set up today. And don't forget that the competition is going to be even more fierce today. You'll need to win at least a silver trophy in each event to get into the final round tomorrow. The final round? And that's the end of the game? Ah, me champ- uh, champy. 
Oh yeah, because like, what he's 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 Spanish. That's the joke. It's like, oh yeah, the rat has a Spanish accent. Hilarious. Now, are you ready to play Whacker Rack? Yes. Oh yeah, that is Sheen's VA. Here we go. Okay, I gotta focus, chat. Don't... Can't can't look at uh, your amazing funny jokes in Twitch chat, sorry. Oh, shite. Oh. Okay, I failed. I've definitely got at least a uh, silver. Oh. Why did that sound like Jay Schlatt? Did you <laughs> Did you guys hear that? that? That sounded like Jay Schlatt. That genuinely sounded like Schlatt. It didn't? Are you deaf? That that sounded like him. Real master here. He worked on this game. Jay Slat was a voice actor in this. I'm sure he was. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Hey there, kid. You're doing great. Hey, I'm trying to shut up the shuffle muck event. That sounds dirty. <laughs> that sounds like a dirty word. Hey kid, hey kid, you ever hear a shuffle mucking? Look it up. Trust me, I, I know you won't get any weird results on Google. I need some horse brushes to use as paddles to grab them for me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here I come. Oh, I got stuck on a sign. Oh yeah. I found the horse brush. Oh yeah. The other one's on the other side of the map for some reason. What is shuffle mucking? Your parents will tell you when you get older. Just, uh, refrain from googling it, champ. Hey, hey, babe. I found this new thing for us to try. It, it's called shuffle mucking. So... Oh, yeah! I would explain, but it's a little bit complicated. Just... Here, take this blowhorn and a blindfold and just put on the blindfold and just, like, really just blow into the horn. Oh, the Vuvuzuela? Yeah, no, that goes into my ass. The, the Vuvuzuela goes way up there, yeah. Also, like, a gallon of mayo. And while you're blowing into, like, your blowhorn, I need you to shovel the mayo into the Vuvuzuela. I know, <laughs> a little bit kinky. Those horse brushes will be just right! Now we're ready to play some Shuffle Muck. Shuffle Muck has been unlocked in the quick event menu. You've just got to bash the tin can into your opponent's goals. Ready to play? That sounds like a yeast infection. I mean, listen, Shuffle Muck comes with some risks. Sometimes you just got to take them. Good luck. I think I do pig pretty well. I think I do pig's voice pretty good. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I lost a pip. <laughs> I'm resetting. <laughs> that was sad. Come on. I suck at games like this.
Come on. Oh my god. Pip, Jesus. Stop. Why can I not get it into this goal? There we go, finally. Oh no, that's not Pip, that's a random chicken, my bad. Ha, <laughs> idiot. Absolute fool. Not gonna lie, this OST is mid. Were you expecting, like, sweeping orchestras when I popped this game in? Were you like, oh yeah, definitely, this is like this Legend of Zelda level. Full orchestra. For back at the barnyard. Not gonna lie, my parents conceived me to this OST. Really? You must be one of those gifted babies. Damn it. I hear if you put like headphones with this music playing up to like a pregnant mother's like belly, little, little belly. I hear that if you put headphones playing this music up against a pregnant person's uh, stomach, that like that they become a gifted baby. I'm why 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 why? Come on! It's air hockey. Why am I so bad? I swear to God that sounds like Schlatt. It's not just me, is it? It sounds like him. Wait, did I, did I, did I do that properly? Yeah, I, I think I got it, yeah. It's like the compression is so weird on the audio, it makes it sound like him. Man, I'm I'm gonna I'm not going to get in first place. I am on the edge of my seat. Happy Wheels. Rated E for oh, every bro. God, I, I need to get at least silver to continue in the game. How am I going to get at least silver? Okay, I got to got to do it again. Okay, press the A button to accelerate, B button to brake, and the control pad to lean and do flips. Earn points by performing tricks and finishing first. Okay, let's try it again. Nice. Oh, there's... Backflip. Front flip. Backflip. Go, go. There we go. That should be good. You got gold. 
Yeah, I'm the what? What's the name of this game? Happy Wheel. I'm Happy Wheels champion. Awesome stick bike riding. I'll see you in the finals tomorrow, kid. You'll see me in the finals? Oh, shucks. I guess I'll see you too, Otis. God, he's so nice and kind. And a cow. Ah, fuck. God. Welcome to the farm, dear. Why don't you try your hand at Flag Defender? But oh, I forgot I need some tomatoes from the veggie patch before it gets our whatever. Oh, yeah. God, like, what if me and Otis, like, touch our udders together and we just, like, rub them? Like, oh, fuck. God. Oh. Okay, so tomatoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is your character circumcised, Salty? That's a really good question. I wish I could check, but I, I don't think that... I don't think my character has any sort of genitalia. Just udders. Oh, yeah. I hate this. Well, this isn't for you. This is for me. Uh, uh this is for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why, why do they put up a fence here? I gotta walk all the way around. Okay, then are his udders circumcised? I don't... What does that mean? Genuinely? Genuinely. What what does that mean? <laughs> what? These tomatoes should do fine. Flag defender. Raccoons and gophers will try to steal the flags. Hold them off for as long as you can. All you have to do is knock them on the head and they'll run away. Ready to give it a go? Yeah. Okay, protect the flags, tap the screen to launch the tomatoes at the raccoons and gophers. Okay. There we go. Look at that I think I only have a limited number of tomatoes. I suck at this. I, I gotta restart. Back at Barnyard. Back at the Barnyard. Modern Warfare. This is for Ben! <laughs> Reloading! Reloading. But my big meaty hand keeps blocking the screen whenever I tap. Oh shit, shit. God, this game is hard. We just have to keep going until the end? 
Oh, okay, I guess that's the end. We are watching a oh, okay. What if this was the only video game? <laughs> what if, am I right? <laughs> what if? <laughs> what a hypothetical that would be, huh? Like, what if? That, wh what if this was the only, what if it was the only video game, you know? <laughs> what if? What if? Sorry, I was just imagining it. Uh, we got lost in thought. It's a lot less war. If this is the only video game, strangely. Also, sexism just wasn't a thing anymore. It's a very specific thing to like fix, like this, this being the only game, just sexism didn't exist. It just stopped exi existing. It was, it was weird. Do you think that more people would say, oh yeah, oh definitely. Instead of hi, it would be like, oh yeah. It's like, oh, oh, hey, uh, oh, oh yeah, Henry. It's like, oh, oh yeah to you too, Robert. And have an oh yeah to your evening. Oh, oh yeah. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know why I was going that way. What are these stars? Are these like extra missions? Hey buddy, back for a game of Cowapult? No, I, I need to do my quests. This game looks too much like a creepypasta. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? What what about this is like, yeah, definitely could be a creepypasta. Like, like this could be one of those like analog horror videos. It's Otis.exe. So I started playing back at the barnyard for the Nintendo DS. I found it at the bottom of a toy chest that I had when I was a kid. I never remembered buying it before, though. I didn't know why I had it, so I just decided, you know, why not? Why not pop it into my Nintendo DS system from the Nintendo DS family of systems? I booted it up and Otis was looking kind of terrifying. I, I don't know, there was something about this cow that was hyper-realistic. His udders had such a weird shine and gleam to them. They looked real. They were oozing milk. They were just oozing it. It was terrifying. I almost pissed myself. And then Otis looked into the camera and said, Oh yeah! Then, my testicles exploded. You're gonna love it! It's called Junkyard J Hijinks! The only problem is the BD's car battery is kaput, kablooey! Think you can get another battery from the junkyard? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! It links your soul to the third circle of hell because of your gluttony? Oh yeah! How'd you guys like my acting? It's pretty good. Probably didn't hit as hard with the the barnyard music in the background. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Salty, what is this shit? This is back at the barnyard for Nintendo DS. Uh, shut up. This is back at the barnyard in the sloppy toppy games. Okay. Move on. Grow up. This game is how I make my living. <laughs> if I didn't play this, I would starve. <laughs> you guys watching are single-handedly funding my existence. <laughs> now, the game's really simple. All you have to do is collect the flags as fast as you can. 
You get extra points for doing kit skids and jumps. Ready to race? Oh, yeah. Junkyard hijinks. <laughs> Why is the J so far to the right on hijinks? <laughs> it just looks like <laughs> hijinks. Hijinks. Hi, Jinx. All right. Uh, collect as many flags as you can in the time limit. Get bonus points for jumps and, s and skids. Ooh, more driving. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh! Look at that floor. Uh, I'm loving it. Okay, timer, timer. Timer, okay, here we go. Oh, shit. Circle around, circle around. Did I get it? I think I got it, actually. Whoa! Sick jump, bro! Oh, I'm stuck. Did I get a good score? Oh, I didn't. 349? Okay, I gotta try again. This is almost as quality as Eminem's racing game. Yeah, I want to do it again, please. Wow. A cow driving a car? <laughs> Who would have thought? Only in video games, huh? Only in gaming could something like this happen. Like, imagine real life a cow driving? That wouldn't happen. It'd be shocking, it'd be baffling, it'd be horrifying. But in video games, the world of gaming, it could happen. I just think that's pretty cool. Uh, did I, did I get it? I did, okay, whoops. Jump. And jump. Jump. Get the flag, get the flag, get the flag. And hit the jump. Whoa! Uh, I'm loving it. Whoa, hit the jump. Whoa! God, this is this this goes hard. Oh, 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 I did, I did it, I did it. All right, I got gold, guys. Suck it, Bud, Otis, and Freddy. I don't even know who Bud is. Nice to finally see Salty play a real game. Yeah, this is real gaming. This is real gaming. You just earn your place in the finals. I'll see you back here tomorrow for more racing action. Oh man, that's exciting. How do I how do I finish up? Well, how do I go to the next day? Do I have to play all the games? Even the ones with the stars? But I I beat all the the ones to get to the finals. So like what is a fucking barnyard? You're, you're looking at it. This is the barnyard. And we're back at it. Hey, buddy. Back for a game of ca cowapult? Yes. Wait, hold up. Salty, did you know that in the bar- That in the barnyard game for PS2, you can spray people with milk- after you put on sunglasses? I need to play that.
I need to play that. Look at that form. That, that's that's got to put me in silver, right? Nope, I got to retry. I don't think I actually need to get silver in these ones. I think these are just extras. Still, I got silver anyway. What a game! Salty, did you know Bessie, the mean cow, is friends with Weird Al? I didn't know that. Thank you. I knew the Weird Al showed up. I didn't know that he's friends with Bessie. So, did did anybody else have like a crush on the female cow when they were younger, like the the like the one with the cowboy accent? Like the Texas act, the southern accent? No? No? Me neither. I didn't... I was just asking you, because you guys are freaks. I was just asking you guys. Okay, some of... Yeah, no, yeah. You guys, you guys are free. Yeah, you... Yeah. You, you guys are freaks. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, chat. <laughs> you guys, freaks. <laughs> that was amazing. I'm actually fairly good at this one. I'm just focusing on playing these games now. Some of these are genuinely kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. They're kind of addicting. It's not as much shovelware as I thought, but it's definitely not worth like the full price of a DS game. I better have gotten first place. Yeah. I did. I did. I did indeed smash the record. Otis is yeah, Otis out here cock blocking. All right, now we just talk to the donkey. All right, check this out the melon race. Check this out. Speed run. This is amazing. Just look at this game. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Is that is that the dog character speaking? Sounds like the dog character speaking. Man, I sure hope that I, I don't lose any of these melons. My poor pregnant wife, all she can eat is melons. So I gotta get these back to the hospital as soon as I can. Or else my poor pregnant wife won't be able to eat because she can only eat melons for some reason. That would suck. That would suck if I lost any of these melons. Any of these physics-based melons. That would suck. I really hope that I don't lose any of these melons. So far, so good. Oh, oh, almost lost those melons. Please, shut up. I'm trying to... Get these melons to my wife. Whoa, trick shot. No, the melon. Oh my God, I lost one melon. Oh my God, my wife will starve. She's definitely going to starve.
Get the checkpoint. Get the checkpoint. Oh my god. Yeah, I still win. My wife survives tonight. All right, we did it. Today was even more amazing than yesterday. You see, now, now he said the line. I knew that they were capable of that. All right. We have finally made it to the final round of the back at the barnyard sloppy toppy games. All right. Okay, guys, today is the last day, so do your best. Did anybody else just hear? They just mashed like two lines together. He was saying one thing and then it got cut off and he finished with an entirely different sentence. Dawn of the final day. We gotta finish the back of the barnyard games before the moon crashes into, uh, into Termina. Yeah, that, that wasn't a glitch. That, that was just like, that's just what the game does. Because Otis is so scared of, of the giant moon that's gonna crash into the barn. Genuinely, I wish that more licensed games were just like more unhinged. Like, imagine they did, like, a licensed Back of the Barnyard game, and they did, like, a full-fledged, like, JRPG. And, like, obviously it's a licensed game, so it's, like, crappy, but it's, like, there's a Back of the Barnyard JRPG. Hey there, sugar. Great to meet you. Oh, it's great to meet you, too, even though you have butthole eyes. I've got a new game to play, but I need a little something first. If you could bring me that old piece of fabric from the top of the hill, I can build a hot air balloon. I think think you could fetch it for me? Uh, yes. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Wait, so we gotta get gold medals on these games, right? Is that is that what the game said? Um, I didn't see what Otis said. Oh, yeah. I think there'd be something magical about a one over 100 hour licensed game. Like, I don't even care if there was a back at the barnyard JRPG. I wouldn't even care if it was like filled with glitches that would just break the game. Just make it. It would be at least fun. You know? Yeah, this <laughs> Bessie really does not look right at all. Like, I think her name is Bessie, right? I I'm not. I'm not fucking that up. L legit, like, look at her eyes. She's so tired. Daisy. Her name is Daisy from Mario. I don't think that that's Daisy from Mario. <laughs> she looks like blazed out of her mind. <laughs> like, she, she's like, I don't know, sugar. Those edibles were, how many grams was that? Five thousand? What the fuck? <laughs> Balloon Shepherd has been unlocked in the quick event menu. So I, I think I have to get gold. Rescue the sheep. Take them to the barn to earn points. Use the control pad to steer and hold down the A button to thrust. Thrust what? What do you mean thrust? What the hell is this? This is absurd. <laughs> this is so weird. Can I get another sheep? 
No, it's full. It's full, guys. Oh, I fucked up. It is so full. Oh, it gets heavier. Interesting game mechanic. That was genuine when I was saying that, by the way. That wasn't a joke. Pretty interesting mechanic. Okay, let's let's get the other two up here. Oh. That's what your mom said last night. My mom said that's a cool mechanic. What does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean that's a cool mechanic? What? Okay, come on. I'm doing pretty good in this game so far. I'm gonna see if I can get that oxygen tank on the right. That was amazing. Or helium, whatever it is. Okay, I'm gonna get some on the way up. And up, up, and away! Gotta say, I actually am getting kind of addicted to some of these games. I, I will not lie to you. I know it's sad, but I don't know. Some of these games are actually pretty well, pretty well made. That was amazing. Like for a mini game collection, this is pretty fun. It's satisfying to my brain when I get points. Can I make it? Can I make it? Go, go. He's on the edge of his seat, guys. Can I make it? Can I make it? No, 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 no. Oh, shit. I gotta be first place, right? There we go. I was really good at that one. Hey, Salty, can you tuck me into bed, please? No. Throws you out a window. Editor, if this becomes a video, uh, cut to a picture of somebody being thrown out a window immediately after I say that. Like, just cut to footage. Hey, kid! You're, you're doing great in all the events so far. I've got a new challenge for you, but I need you to help me set it up. <laughs> Uh, grab some rope oh, yeah. from the shed, okay. I think it'd be really funny if I asked the editor to do something and this just didn't become a video. <laughs> like, like, I'm like the editor, like, okay, editor, do this uh, insanely detailed edit. I'm going to take 15 hours to explain it. Just never becomes oh, a video. Yeah. It would be funny though. It it would. We're right, walking up the dirt path. All right. I wonder what kind of wacky zany game that we're gonna have to play with this dog. Uh, I wonder. Thanks, pal. Now we're all set up for the sorting chicks. <laughs> oh yeah. Now this is a kind of game I can play. All you gotta do is sort the chicks into the blue and pink baskets. <laughs> oh, bro, you know it. I know how to play this game. Do it all the time. All right. <laughs> this is gonna be easy, chat. I do this every Saturday. All right, here we go. Blue basket, pink basket. Blue basket, blue basket, pink basket, blue. 
Oh yeah, these are some chicks. I love me some chicks. The hitbox on some of these chicks are pretty wonky. Just like in real life. I know a lot of chicks in real life that have wonky hitboxes. Hey, bad luck. Give it another try, kid. You'll get there. I assume I have to get gold. Yeah, this is giving off the same vibes as, like, the Mario 64 DS minigame where you, like, sort the bomb bombs. You guys know that one? Hitboxes are a little bit weird. <laughs> Am I right, guys? You ever meet any chicks with weird hitboxes? Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This is so hard. Oh, yo, 420! Blaze it! Is that enough? Is that enough? Oh, I gotta get gold. Oh. Yes, I can sort the chicks. Okay. It goes so fast. Like, the hitboxes are, are so small. If you don't get it exactly, then it's over. Uh-oh, starting to speed up. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm falling behind. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. Over 500. I'm missing every one of those. I missed every single one I was trying. Thanks. Finally, all right, I got all the chicks. Just like uh, every Saturday. Not seeing enough movement. <laughs> Does that mean? Uh, yeah, melons. Just gonna drive these melons all the way to the bank. Full speed. Full speed melon run. Let's go. Full speed. Oh, that's <laughs> that is a majority of my melons. Wow. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. What a game. Oh man, I sorry. <laughs> Wait, do I have to get gold medal on all of these? Oh, okay. To, uh... This is gonna suck, okay. Okay, gotta do this for my wife. This is amazing, just look at this game! Gotta get above, like, 650 points, I think. Melon bonus plus 60. Good old melon bonus. Melon bonus. Nice. We love to see it. Love to see good old melon bonus. You know what I mean, chat? Love. Love me somebody with a big old melon bonus. Especially two sets of melon bonuses. Oh, no! 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 I'm losing melon bonuses! Oh, no. I'm not gonna make it. I've lost so many potential melon bonuses. Oh. 
Nobody's gonna want to fuck me now. Oh my god. Oh. Go, 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 go. No. Oh, I, I still got gold though. Salty, what kind of masochistic tendency do you have to play this fucking game? I don't know, it's kind of fun. I went into a thing and it was gonna be garbage, but I'm actually kind of enjoying myself. <laughs> this is kind of wild for me. And that's why I give this game completed. Complete it! Can't get me, Otis. I got too much skill. I got some skill. Look at that form. Okay, I'm getting some of them. Glad it doesn't deduct penalties for, uh, Misses. That would suck. Okay. Missing like every single chicken. That's gotta be gold. Nice. I'm the chicken launch champion. I am the cock master. Hey buddy, back for a game of cowpult? Yeah, let's get this one over with. This is one of the harder ones. 2000? All right, here we go. We're going down. Your head, baby. Uh, 500 points off. What a game. Okay, we got to keep going. Oh, yeah. Gotta get those balloons. I keep missing them. Uh oh, we're going down. Ah, oh, shit. If we lay in the hay bale, we get an extra 200 points, though. So. Wait, that's a cow. Why is a cow? <laughs> this is reminding me of the aerodynam aerodynamics of a cow image. I don't know what that image is. I keep hitting birds. I mean, like, yeah, of course I'm going to be hitting birds if I'm in the sky, but, like, it's frustrating. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, I, damn it. This is the hardest game. Genuinely. I want to get gold, though. Hey, come on. Come on. That was amazing. Ouch. Okay. Going down. That was amazing. Gotta take my time, I think. There we go. Amazing. Oh, please, please, please. Please, just get a couple more. Cowapult master. Salty, did you know? Got them apple bottom jeans, jeans, boots with the fur. Uh, I know you're looking at him. Hit, hit the floor. He hit the floor. Next thing you know, uh, shoddy, shoddy got low, 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 low. I, I did know that, actually. I was aware of that. Thanks for letting me know, though. All right.
right. Only got one, two, three, four, five. I only have five games left. Let's do this one, this last one outside the barn. Jumping out hijinks? Yeah, go crazy! Go stupid! Hey Salt, serious question. Any advice for me going into college soon? Um, that is a really good question. Uh, I think I've talked about, like, college advice on the channel before. Uh, I guess the best I can tell you is be open to making new friends, but also realize that your, your new friends probably won't be your roommates. Like, if you're friends with your roommates, that's awesome, but don't be concerned if you're not, like, super duper best friends with your roommates. Just try to get along as best as you can. Be open to joining clubs. You know, all that shtick. You know what I mean? Just be open to new experiences. But, you know, remember to be yourself. Don't, don't try to be anybody else. Also, uh, working at the library is underrated. Genuinely, if you want to get some work done, head over to your campus's library and just work. That's what I used to do, uh, for my college. But I also used to do it, um, for YouTube, actually. I would bring my laptop and I would just edit in the library some YouTube videos and post them. College was the first time I actually took my YouTube channel, like, kind of seriously and tried to just post entertaining shit. Instead of just necessarily what I want to do. Obviously, I do what I want to do, but like, at the end of the day, I'm also like, Hey, what's the most entertaining thing I can do? You know? Be open to new experiences, uh... Be open to new friendships, but also remember that... You know, you might not meet your bestie right away, and that's okay. Does that help? I hope it does. I think I, I think I can A, a rank. Nice. Thanks for asking, answering my question. Yeah, it does. Thanks. No, no, no problem. All right. I think we're really close to the end of the game. Actually, I think it's just these four mini games and that's it. Because then, then I've won, then I've won the sloppy toppy games. Like that's the whole thing. I hit that again, dear. Would you like to play Flag Defender? Oh, also, for college, uh, make sure to have hobbies. Hobbies outside of work that you can do, so that you don't drive yourself insane. Ugh. I, I wish I could read chat during this game, but I really can't. I gotta kind of focus, sorry guys. Gotta make sure I get these raccoons, you know. Okay, reload. Reload, reload. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, fuck. That is... Oh, thank God. I didn't want to have to do that again. That's like one of my least favorite of these games. As a freshman in college, don't be afraid to get yourself out there and don't feel pressure to do anything you don't want to do with friends. You're always allowed to say no to social situations. Yeah, that's a big thing, too. Remember, your consent is important. Hey, that, that's that's me being genuine. I'm not joking around. Your, your consent is genuine. I mean, your consent is important. <laughs> it's genuine, too, but like, you know. Like, for example, I, I had some shitty roommates that uh, tried to tried to slip slip some alcohol into my system without me knowing. They poured it into a Gatorade bottle. They kept trying to offer it to me. They were like, yeah, no, it's just blue Gatorade. And I was like, it smells weird. They're like, no, it doesn't smell weird. Yeah. So just be careful of that. 
uh, I don't really drink. Uh, I just, it's not that like it's something that I view as negative. I just don't personally like it. Uh, yeah, no, those aren't friends. They, they were shitty roommates. Yeah, it, it was a big yikes. But I fucked with them pretty hard after that. One time, I, I, I think I just, one time I, uh, I switched the music. Uh, one, one of them, one of them was like in the community shower, the commune, uh, communion shower thing because we were in like a suite. Uh, they were listening to music and they had their phone unlocked outside of the shower. I, I went in to grab something. I noticed it. I switched the song on it so that it was just like loud moaning. And then I left. It was attached to a Bluetooth speaker. And then uh, when when somebody came by to ask me about it, I was just like, oh, yeah, no, I think uh, I think our other roommate, roommate was in the bathroom. I've been in here all day. And then him and the other roommates started feuding. Uh, <laughs> he, was, he was like, you, you changed this, my song to moaning when I was in the shower. I was like, no, I, I didn't. I, I didn't do that. And I was just like playing Dragon Ball Xenoverse on my, my dinky gaming laptop in, in my room. Because they were like, oh, there's there's no way that there's no way that uh, Derek would be able to do something like that. He's so meek and like and wimpy. I would fuck with them all the time like that. And then they just ended up hating each other. And I was like, cool. Did <laughs> you get for trying to slip me alcohol, assholes? Did you never get caught by them? Yeah, I never got caught doing any of my prank shit ever. It was very easy. I would just do small things. <clears throat> and what's great is that they were already kind of like iffy about each other. So they were are, they were like just close enough to be at each other's necks for me to be able to pull some stupid shit. What if one of them's watching stream right now? Uh, if one of them's watching stream, fuck you. You made my freshman year suck. You guys sucked. Genuinely. The only good one was like my my like personal roommate. Like we were in a suite. So there was like four rooms and each room had two people in it. My direct roommate was pretty cool. He was not cool sometimes, but he, he was overall cool. And you want to know why I say that, too, is because. I, I was watching Jojo one day and my direct roommate, he was like a very sporty guy. I was watching Jojo one day on, on my computer. He walked in and he was like, hey, what are you watching? It's like, oh, I'm watching this uh, this uh, anime. Uh, you know, it's, it wouldn't be interested. And he's like, no, no, yeah. Well, what anime? And I was like, oh, uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. He's like, oh, that's pretty cool. Looks pretty insane. And I was like, yeah, 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 it's pretty, it's pretty fun. Uh. Again, he was like a really sporty dude. He didn't watch anime. Uh, and then just one day I came into the room and I caught him watching Jojo. Like he was just binging it. I was like, dude, what? What? You watching Jojo? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. The show seemed kind of cool. So I wanted to check it out. And I was like, really? And I looked and he was already on like part three. This was like a week or so later. And I was like, wow, you're like pretty deep in. And he's like, oh, yeah, no, this this show bangs. This show's actually kind of banger. And I'm like, really? <laughs> you of all people? <laughs> you like just got back from like practice. Uh, at, like I think like football or something. He's like, yeah, no, this, this show bangs. Yeah, show bangs. It's just one of those things that you just don't expect. Like he didn't watch any anime. He was aware that anime existed. He just never watched it. And. Uh, and yeah, you know, what's funny is that uh, we left on pretty good terms. Like we weren't like besties or anything, but we left on pretty good terms. Uh, when I went on a sophomore year and I roomed with a friend of mine. Uh, and what's funny is that every time he saw any instance of Jojo, he would send me a Snapchat. Literally, I'm not even joking. Like three or four years later, like he was in a class and there was like a Jojo character in a slideshow. He Snapchatted it and he Snapchatted it to me. It's like, dude, look, Jojo. <laughs> I was like, yeah, man. Yeah, man, Jojo. <laughs> I found that like a very, very interesting, <laughs> very interesting little moment in my life.
I totally forgot about it until I was talking about uh until I, I was reminded of like college roommates. Very interesting college experience. I I have a, stories about a couple of different college experiences that were kind of weird. I'll have to think about it though. I there's like a lot of them, so I, I need to remember shit. I remember back in college, I was a part of um I was part of an improv group. You got gold. I don't know if I ever told this story before. <laughs> this is this is gonna be pretty wild. I really hope that this story doesn't make it back to the person that that caused it. I I was I was in an improv group, and uh, this was the semester that I was actually going to leave my current college. And uh, what ended up happening was. It was my last improv show with this improv team ever. And then I was uh, transferring colleges. Uh, so it was like this big, like kind of like big final hurrah for me. I was really excited. Uh, and the, sh the, the, the night, the, the whole show was actually like pretty good. Except for one moment. I could not tell you exactly what the scene was, but I know exactly what derailed it. Me and this other person jumped into a scene and we were having a pretty good back and forth. We were getting the audience laughing. And then this third person comes into the scene. And you know how improv you're supposed to like do like yes and like once a, a concept is already set up, you're supposed to keep going with it. I think we were playing like a kid and a janitor. And the, the joke was like, oh, I'm feeling really moist today. Like, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so moist. Uh, and then this third person comes in. And instead of adding to the bit of like, oh, this guy, this, look at this kid. He's so moist. Instead of doing that, the person was like, hey, hey, yo, kid, look at me. Check this out. And then they pretend like they're like opening up a pocket on their shirt. And they're like, check out this lizard on my pocket. Check out this lizard in my pocket, dude. Isn't this cool? Just out of fucking nowhere. Nobody in the audience laughed. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool, dude. Pretty cool. But I'm feeling so moist. And the audience started like laughing again. And they were like, no, no, dude, dude, stop. Stop. You're not moist. Look in my pocket. Check out this lizard. The audience was dead silent. I was just, I didn't even know how to respond. I was like, the, the scene had been completely derailed. I was like, what? What do you want me to say? And they were just, no, no, dude, dude. Lizard in my pocket. Like that was the joke that they were trying to, there, there was no joke. <laughs> it was just a lizard in the pocket. And I was losing, I was losing my shit because to me, it was so unfunny and awkward that it, it made me kind of start laughing again. But the scene, it was completely derailed. We, we had to end it. I was just like, I can't do this anymore. I can't. It was like, oh, lol, random. Like, it was so unfunny, genuinely unfunny, that it made me laugh. And that was the moment I realized my, my sense of humor was shit. But it was just such a bad improv scene. Like, it was so embarrassing. Family guy type joke. <laughs> it was... So now whenever anybody like derails a bit, I'm like, is this like a lizard pocket bit? Is it like... <laughs> this is... <laughs> I, like, I like this. Jay was like, Jay just messaged in chat. This ain't a yes and. This is a shut up bitch lizards. See, obviously, if you're a true improv master, you, you'd never yes and. You never do yes and this, blah, blah, blah. You never add to a scene. You derail it. And you say, yo, hey, check this out. Lizard in my pocket. What's crazy too is like, the main joke of the scene was that it was moist. And in improv, you're never supposed to outright be like, no, this isn't the scene. This is the scene. But they were just like, no, this is my scene now. The lizard's in my pocket. You're not moist. Shut up. Genuinely one of the worst improv scenes I've ever done with anyone. It was so bad. And that was my last scene. 
a part of the improv team. That was like the last scene I ever did. <laughs> it was so bad. How the fuck does a lizard get moist? I don't know. It was just a lizard in the pocket. It, it itself wasn't moist. Salty. Salty, do you think that there's a penis equivalent of queefing? Dude, you don't get the dick hiccups? You don't get them? I call them dick ups. You don't get them? I thought everybody got those. That is that genuinely that that that's the equivalent of queefing for like people with penises. It's dick hiccups. Trust me, listen, listen. If you don't have a penis, you are not missing out. Let me tell you. It, it is bad. It is genuinely bad. It feels so dry and like, like, ugh. I actually have that. I noticed it sometimes. Yeah, you see this person in chat has it. It's yeah. Wait, it's re yes, it's real. Do you guys actually not know about this? You can fucking Google it. It's real. You're serious? Yes. What? Wait, you guys genuinely didn't know this? I literally cannot tell if this is a, it's not. This is a genuine medical thing. This is fully serious. Wait, I'm a penis owner? What? You don't get the dick hiccups? You guys are fucking with me. No, no, you guys are fucking with me. It's like when it gets like super tight and dry. You guys don't get him? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, you guys. Shut the fuck up. Come on. Can you describe- It's like- It's hard because, like, you know how, like, a queef, right? It's like air exiting the vagina, right? With, like, a penis, it's like- It gets- It, it feels like it gets stretched out. It feels like almost like a muscle is stretching. And it feels, like, dry. And it, it kind of hurts if you're sitting in the wrong position. It, it's hard because- that's like asking me to like describe the sensation of having a penis. Like you can't. Th this is like, that's what it is. The closest I can describe it is like, it's like when, when your penis is like, like, you know, when like you yawn and like you're stretching out like your muscles, you're like, Ugh! you know that? Like it, it feels like that, but with your dick. And also it feels like dry. And I think like maybe like some small air bubbles come out of the urethra and it like it kind of hurts sometimes. You guys don't get this. Okay, fucking whatever. Ask your doctor about it. <laughs> I want to imagine. I want to imagine Otis is saying this exact thing to your character right now. <laughs> yeah, you know, ask your doctor. Ask your doctor about it, guys. Not real bad. But it's fucking real. This isn't a bit. Sounds unpleasant, dude. I believe it. you see fucking snaky girl 42 believes me. I think you're just I think you're describing a bladder infection. That's not what it is. It's called a dick spasm. I mean, like some people call it a dick spasm, but it, it it's more it feels more like a, a hiccup type of situation. I just joined the stream. Literally, the first thing I hear is and small air bubbles come out of the urethra and it hurts sometimes. All right, we fucking get it already. No, you obviously fucking know because people are saying in chat that they don't believe me. Are you shoving things up your dick salt? No, I don't do that. I don't listen. I don't 
put things up there. I know some people do. I don't. It's kind of fucking weird that so many of you guys don't know what I'm talking about. I've experienced that. You see, there's people in chat saying that they know what I'm talking about. Okay, fucking shut the fuck up, okay? I'm, I'm gonna keep playing the game. This is just annoying. Do it, kid. I'm, I'm getting tired of the memeing in chat. Like, every single time I bring up something, like, actually, like, that exists, people are like, Oh, it's a meme! Not everything's a meme! Oh. Starting over. Ugh. Starting over. Starting over. I want to hit the flip. Hit the flip. God, I cannot hit that flip. It's probably on Web WebMD or something. I don't know. You look it up. I'm fucking playing. Okay, backflip. Back. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Go, go, go. Damn it. What a game. Oh, I was so close. Genuinely, this just this is just Happy Wheels. Why did that not count as a flip? I want that to count as a flip. Oh, yeah. It actually pisses me off that so many people like just meme in this chat when I'm talking about something serious. Like, I know it sounds stupid, but it happens. Oh my god. Go! Go! Oh. Please, please get it. Yes! I'm sorry you're angry, but it doesn't happen to everyone. And if it doesn't happen to you, you need to talk to your doctor about it! God! I'm pretty sure that's unhealthy. If it doesn't happen to you, then ask your doctor about it. This game I suck at, so bear with me. This is gonna be the hardest, the hardest part of the game. Need some intense music. Okay. Fuck. Just look at this game. I'm loving it. Loving it. He's loving it. All right. 500 points.
Nice. Sorry, I'm focusing so hard right now. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, nice, nice. When I get over 1,000. Damn it! Nice. Okay, okay, 1,000. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Yes! Okay, okay. Oh, damn. This chicken ain't fucking around. Oh my god. Nice! Oh! Yep. Yeah, this chicken is not fucking around. Oh my god. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, get one more. Damn it, no! Ah, why? Did I lose? You got gold. No, I got gold. Okay, I'm, I'm actually good. I'm actually goaded with the sauce. Uh, we have a new Shuffle Muck champ. All hail the new master. Sweet crispy cud, you did it. What did you just say? <laughs> oh, cud. <laughs> There's a, I thought he said, sweet crispy cock, you did it. I won. Congratulations, you're the new barnyard champ. Starts viciously making out with Otis. I knew you had it in you. You did well, kid. Thanks, everyone. That was fun. Congratulations, buddy. That concludes this year's Barnyard Slop Bucket Games. I had so much fun. I think we should play again next week. See you all next time. Is that, that's it. <laughs> that's it. All right. I You heard him. We gotta come back next week. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta stream this again every week. I'm gonna stream this game again every week for the rest of my life. Oh. Can I swear, salty? Uh, go for it. Why are you asking me? Game of the year. Good. <laughs> Game of the year. Goodbye, gold. Ah, uh, uh, fuck. I keep reading that wrong. Game of the year. Goodbye, Elden Ring. Yeah, guys, this game. This game came out this year. They had they had a DS game in the Nickelodeon archives. They just never released. If you if you do this stream every week, you'll cure dick ups for life. That's it? That's just a bunch of cheap walk cycles! Oh! SpongeBob betrayed us! Okay, that's it, I guess. One new- no new game plus? Wow, they just straight up deleted my save. When you beat the game, it just deletes your save. No new no new game plus, no DLC. The game is just like, go outside, touch some grass. You know what? I just might. All right. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then we'll take a look at the art Twitter. And then we'll call it for the night, alright?
then we'll call it for the night. All right, guys, be right back and then we'll do art and then that'll be the end of the night. If I don't see at least one piece of art of me viciously tonguing down Otis, then what was the point of this stream? All right, I am back. Sorry about the wait chat. Now, I haven't checked in a while. Uh, how many subs do we have? Wow, we're almost at 500, guys. We're only like nine away. 491 subscribers. I don't remember what my max subscriber count was, but hey, 500 is a pretty big number. So thanks for, uh, thanks for getting me up there, guys. All right, so I'm going to switch over to the fan art screen in just a moment. Apologies, I didn't really set this up in advance. I never do. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Eggman is trending. Not for any reason, it's just, just Eggman being Eggman. Yes, Ag somebody made Agent Stone fan art. Yes. I love Agent Stone. I love that guy. Honestly, high key, Agent Stone, probably the best human Sonic character besides Eggman. In like Sonic, any sort of Sonic lore. Genuinely, I love Agent Stone. He's probably like, yeah, he, he genuinely is one of my favorite human characters in Sonic. Okay, so this is, I'm going to show off some art from the past couple of streams that I missed, and I'll also be showing off new art. Now, I think that Hannah is asleep tonight, which is valid. Like, Hannah runs the art Twitter just, like, as a favor, and I really appreciate Hannah. So, Hannah, if you're watching this, you don't always have to, like, stay up and retweet stuff. You can go to sleep, too. Like, you don't always have to moderate it all the time. I understand. Uh, in this case, I'll look up Salty DK Dan art retweets on uh, Twitter. I'll use the search function. I'll, I'll find the tweets. So there's no worries. Hannah, please. You're one of my best moderators and a friend. Please take care of yourself. You don't always have to be on. We love Hannah here. Uh, so let me switch over. Where's the fan art screen? Here we go. All right. So actually going to switch over. This is, a, this is a piece of art I wanted to show off. This is sick. This is genuinely sick. Look how cool this is. I, I don't want to. I don't want to not get the username in there. By at floop dupe six. This is insanely cool. I love how fluid it is, despite the fact that it's pixel art. Oh, let me put on some, uh, let me put on some music in the background. Genuinely, probably one of my favorite pieces of fan art. The style is just, it, it tailors to my brain. Because it reminds me of like Sonic Advance, Sonic Mania, specifically Sonic Mania. As an artist, fluid pixel art is hard AF. You got to do color shifting and shit. That's mad cool. It literally fluid pixel art when it's done good. It looks like it's like a 3D model that has a mosaic over it. That's what this looks like. And I know it's not. I know it's like 2D, like it, it's insane how this looks check out the latest tweets oh yeah by a flower cat 106 i want to see if i i may, maybe maybe i can like maybe i can isolate that i i don't know Oh yeah, I can I can lower the the music volume on the game, so I I could capture that. 
I could capture that off stream and use it as audio for something. If I wanted to. Oh yeah! Derek, I sent it to you on Twitter. Check your mentions. No, you gotta tweet it at the salty DK art RT. Also, what the fuck? Didn't tag the actual tweet, but here it is again. I mean, like... Real? <laughs> it's a cardboard cutout. You can see how, like, into him. Wow, I hate this. I love this. It's the same art. Caught shipping you and Otis hard tonight, my man. Thank you. Uh, IDK if you actually want these for stream notifications or not, but here's a Google Drive with all the oh yeahs from the Barnyard game. No way. Hold up. I'm opening this up. Oh yeah! What? There's, there's female ones? Oh yeah! Yeah, there's like whole whole genre of them hold up they're a little bit loud they're a little bit loud I want to turn it down a bit oh yeah there it is there it is oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah Oh yeah. This is this is the one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We didn't even get to hear the female one. I should say the feminine one, I guess. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Me when women exist. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Okay. Let's continue looking at art. But if anybody wants to find that, you can check Twitter. I'll probably d d download those later. Oh, yeah. I was inspired. <laughs> Bam, back in the barnyard. There it is, guys. It's horrifying. It is terrifying. And Otis bled real blood from his cartoon eyes. He said, I am God. And then he sprayed his milk from his udders everywhere. Trans cow, trans cow. Yeah, trans cow rights. Technically, all of the, the cows in that game are trans. I don't make the rules. It's just true. Cowabunga, am I right? Bro, hold on. Dippy. Dippy. Why you gotta make my eyes look like that? Why you gotta make them like that? Why you gotta give me eyeliner, huh? What are you trying to do? Whore. <laughs> Whore eyes. <laughs> Cow abunga, am I right? Jesus fucking Christ. I look. There's something... <laughs> Salty's whore arc. Them eyes pretty as hell. I'm being forcibly feminized against my will. That's what this art is. I'm being forcefully feminized. Also, I'm a cow. Sorry. 
you will be forcefully feminized. I don't make the rules. Slutty whore cows. <laughs> what was that? What was that text chat? What was that chat message? I can't draw cows, but I can draw. <laughs> I can't draw cows, but I can draw true love in action. Don't worry, salty coon. I'll always respect your pronouns. Oh, oh yeah. Now this is a bombastic moment. <laughs> Thank you, Biggie Cheese. I can't believe we didn't even get to talk about Biggie Cheese. Did you know he's canonically dead? Sorry, oh, you see, totally conflicting art now. My last brain cells are being tortured by your stream. <laughs> Sorry, we cannot be canon, Derek. Why can't cow love be real? You joke, but forced cow feminization is a fetish that I see shockingly often. You know what? Now that you mention it, I've seen that. I know what you're talking about. I I am aware of that, actually. I've, I've seen that. There's some weird corners of the internet. Salt, you need to you need to elaborate what happened to Biggie? Do your own research. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah! There. There we go. Oh sweet. This is a pretty cute cow. And of course, like making out. Uh is by Angel Raver 300 my cow Sona That looks like an actual fursona. That looks like you 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 like almost like really really thought it out. You know you know what this reminds me of Th this looks like this looks like uh if if I was on Flipnote Hatina and I was a furry at the time, like, I feel like this would be like my, my, my Sona. It's like, hey guys, welcome back to another awesome flip note. I say that in the most positive way possible. Will we ever have an art competition? I, I don't know. I don't think I could ever have something like that. Like an art competition. Art subjective. I mean, maybe one day, like, I don't know, we could have like some sort of theme or something. I don't know. I'm someone who works a lot with early 2000s media, so that's nice to hear, Salt Man. Genuine. Oh, that's great. I love that. Okay, now now we're we're getting back to the art, Salty DK art RT stuff. So we'll we'll jump it back in here. Salty Sonic. This is from the Sonic stream the other day. Give it a like. I, I just realized I'm not liking these. I should be liking these more. Eating every chip ever. That's Gerber fan art. No, that's Gerber fan art. I gotta take my phone like. Screw you, Frankie. <laughs> you posting my boy Sona, cause yeah. Oh yeah, I love I love Mal's boy Sona. Mal is a really good one. Mal came up with uh, her design all on her own. And it's very good. Better than anything I could do. I don't know. When was the last time that I drew Mal's Boysona? I I should really go through and give like everybody like official Boysona art. I keep forgetting to do that. Still thinking about that one quote from the start of the stream. Which stream? I know I'm Mario, but what did I say? What did I say that provoked this? Drawing stream? Oh, that could be fun. I've been meaning to like redo the boy Sona art because I've been I've become a better artist. So a lot of the boy Sona art is outdated, but the last time I tried to update it, it was kind of in a slightly different style and people didn't like it. So I just ended up not using it. The art that's in Have You Heard About is like the quote unquote official boy Sona art. And that's Frankie's boy, Sona. 
God, I, I'm always doing that stupid, <laughs> that stupid pose. I don't even know what the pose is anymore. I do, I do love how Frankie draws the boys. Face cam. Who is Derek? There's only Dobby. I put the salty where he belong. Into the trash I go. Oh, we got some anti sand slash. Been a while since we got some front lock art. Love to see it. Yeah, that's a hashtag Roger moment. Of course, Hannah retweeted this. I'm gonna kick your knees, bitch. Slur. Yo, I got the I got the Gucci. I got the Gucci. I got the Gucci. I got the boots. Salty's boy Sona would make a really good main character and a platformer. That is one of the best compliments that I've ever been given. Genuinely. It's not even that good of a design. I just made it easy to draw. Just made the designs of the characters easy to draw. Like, I literally drew that in, like, one night. And then it's just been my persona ever since. This is horrifying. Season 2 J-Drip. This is cute. I like this. Also, it says A-Cab, which is double cute. I, I think the A-Cab is so kawaii. Desu. <laughs> Yo! Don't know if it counts as art, but I had a dream that consisted of forum discussions, and someone's profile pic looked something like this. They weren't even salty, they were just some random person. <laughs> I'm, I'm adding this to my bookmarks, actually. <laughs> I really love this. I love because, like, the dog is facing this direction, but the hair is facing this direction. <laughs> it's, it's, it's great. They could have easily just flipped the dog and they didn't. This has like profile picture energy. If if I ever get tired of my current one, if I ever get tired of my current one, which is which is this one. If I ever get tired of this one and I remember the dog, then then I will change it to that, I swear. But I I do like Claude a lot. I like Claude Salty a lot. It has like it has the vibe of like a Twitter meme account, which is like what I'm going for. Like a Twitter shitpost account. A King Julian! I didn't... Wow, there's some Mordart I did not see. Oh yeah, and the, the feet drove Salty to get it. Sorry, I scrolled past some of these because I, I realized I, I saw this one. I can't play the music because it's going to get the stream copyrighted. There, there's a surprising amount of like friend lock fan edits. It's done by like the same group of people, but there's just so many. Like they gotta run out of content at some point, right? The feet song drove Salty D K Dan mad at Salty D K Art R T. And then King Julian, I this is so creepy. Like Rocket is so good at art. But this is genuinely creepy. Like, look, what? Why did Rocket draw the mouth like this? It's like a, it's like a wound. It's like a gaping wound, like wrinkles and crap. It's terrifying. And then, arson. Never forget that Mort has a body count. Guys, new Ogretsko character. New, real. This looks like slightly like the, uh, like a, like the chibi, like Hello Kitty style, but like fucked up and evil. I say that in a very good way. I like it. That's by Linkstar. And then the Spamton DK Dans. Hey, every, it's me, Spamton DK Dan. Did it, Dan. 
your mom, your dad, your sister. I f f f f f f f fucked everyone. They've all been fucked by me. Your 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 mom. The only one who's not getting fucked is you. And then we got the rat. I don't know what prompted this, but I do like uh, rat drawings, so... Rats are cute. And mouse, and mice. Mice. And this is the, the, the cool pixel art that I was showing off earlier. It's still so sick. God, it's sick as fuck. And then the spam to get in again. Ooh, I like this one. Man, there's a lot of fan art I didn't get to see. Ren pause. I made something. Yay, hope it looks okay. It looks more than okay. Ren pause. Uh, I'm giving you a fat like. You know, I really liked it because I burped while talking while I was on screen. That's how you know. I'm about to go on some sort of magical adventure. <laughs> and now I've seen this one. Live bean reaction. I think we're getting into the territory I've seen some of these. I don't know if I showed them off on stream though, so I'm going to keep going. You used the death of our friends for ad revenue. <laughs> you know what's great is that you could you could say that this is a thing against uh You could say that this is a thing against Gerber's character or just me as a YouTuber. This is by Jade the Doodler. Or at the Jade Dragon One. Oh, and here comes Claire. <laughs> Hello, Submiss Twitter. I would like to introduce you to Subway Boss Delibird. It's like an AU of my friend lock character, Hannah the Delibird. I hope you enjoy her because I would love to do more with her. Yeah, uh, Hannah loves the Subway guys. Hannah fucking loves the Subway guys. She's like obsessed with them. To be fair, though, this is very good art. It is very cute. It's a shame we never got to meet the subway bosses in the black friend lock. I kind of regret that now, but there's really no way to meet them unless you like get to them without a Pokemon dying. Like the battle subway just wouldn't work. Happy Easter from the Friendlock Bunnies. And this is some cool Friendlock art. You got Mal and Mal and Jay and Joe. Trigger warning, eye horror, eye contact. Okay, trigger warning, guys. Eye horror slash eye contact. I'll unhide this. Uh, if, if that triggers you, then uh, look away for a little bit and I'll let you know when it's gone. All right. Uh, three, two, one. Pretty creepy. I appreciate the trigger warning. But yeah, this uh, yo salty exe dude, salty exe real. Okay, it's off the screen now. I doubt that that would have triggered anybody, but you know it's always good to have triggers. This took so long, no shading or details. I actually really like the style of this. The style of this, to me, it feels like reminiscent or it reminds me of like when I'd be a kid and there was like a, a book fair and they'd have like cool indie comics. When I was a kid, I liked the Scholastic Book Fair and I'd always pick out the indie comics because they looked cool. This is what this feels like in, in the most positive of ways. He's scrunkly. Especially the face. I think the face is like really good. And also, I really like the line work that you did on the shoes. You can't really see it there, but yeah, the line work, like the way that like some parts of it like stop. It's, it's very cool. It's a very clean art style. Okay, I think we're starting to get back up to where we were at. 
But here we got a speed run. Lemon Boxy. And then we got Wind Abyss. And yeah. Yeah, these are the ones we've already seen. But hey, Silver Egg back at it again. 